Hi, Michelle from Michelle's Reading Rockstars here to show you chapter book options, including some new books for 2018. I'm gonna try to go fast, but not too fast, but I want you guys to be able to see um, some choices, starting with Hey Jack and Billy B. These um, kiddos are friends. They feature in each other's stories. These is This is for your very beginner um, reader who's just starting to read chapter books. You can see that there are a lot of pictures. There's no more than 50 words per page, and the um, writing does not go over the middle of the binding either, which it makes it easier um, for kids to read, and especially kids that might have some reading difficulties. The um, author has a child who um, was diagnosed with dyslexia, and that's why um, the book is set up like that. This is another beginning story, Lily the Elf. Um, this is a chapter book, um, comes with four um, books um, to choose from. Um, very, very cute, especially around the holiday time. Um, moving up from the Billy Bees, now we have the Billy Bee Mysteries. These are just a little bit harder, and we have our girl Billy Bee from the previous um, books that is that is trying to um, solve um, some playground mischief or other things. So this is a really cute um, beginner mystery for your kids that are a little bit above that beginning um, chapter book. Um, Secret Mermaid. This is super popular because who doesn't like mermaids? This is about a little girl who finds out that she is a mermaid and she has to um, focus on things to actually help save the planet. So it does have a lot about ecology in it, but um, it's also got a lot of fun kind of girly stuff in it. And this is a series as well. If you have an animal lover, we have so many chapter book choices for you. So I'll just show you a few. Um, the Fizz is a series about um, police dogs. Um, there's uh, four different books and each one is a different adventure. So this is for your about one step above um, beginner level. We've got some pet vet books. Um, each one of them happens to be a different animal. The Mars Mayor's Tale is the one I have in my hands, but um, this is about a um, liaison officer at a pet clinic and their job is to help sick animals. So if you have a it's aspiring veterinarian, this is a great book, great choice. Um, fairy ponies, um, we also have fairy unicorns, so we have two different series. Um, and this is about a bunch of enchanted ponies on Enchanted Island, so kind of like a My Little Pony type of idea. You can see that um, it's got some beautiful illustrations. A lot of the unicorn ones actually have glitter and stuff too. Um, you can see the reading level is um, a little bit higher. So we're going up to about, I would say, second grade level or so. We have got this whole series of Pup Patrol. If you've got a dog lover, Outback Rescue, Farm Rescue, Bush Rescue, each one has um, the um, dog featured on an adventure. Um, and they're the same dogs are in all the stories, but the different dogs take the lead in different stories. Um, and usually they have to like save the town or save some other pets, stuff like that. So there's a few um, animal books here. Here's one more actually. This is for slightly older kids. If you have a kid who loves horses, this Sandy Lane Stables is great. Um, I would say this is about at a fifth grade reading level. And these can actually be read um, as a series or separately because every story is um, separate. But each one is about an adventure um, with a horse and um, a rider. So um, it's got a little bit of drama in it, a lot of horses, good combination. This is a newer series we have, the Brother series. This is Bug Brother, Detective Brother. Um, and these have little magical elements. This is all about a boy who's hoping his little brother will leave him alone, but in the um, course of it, they wind up getting into a lot of trouble together. It's very cute, very funny, very boyish, impish type of um, humor. This is another great series we have. If you have an outdoor lover or an adventure lover, the Bear Gorillas Adventures is a great choice. Um, these are fiction, but kind of written like nonfiction. And um, each one, you've got a lead character. Some are girls, some are boys, and they have to survive in whatever environment there are. Like there's a desert one and a jungle one and a bunch of others. 
I love these books, the true stories books, because they are nonfiction, but they're chapter books. You can see their reading level on them is a little bit higher, but it has a different chapter, different story for each one. Um, sometimes we think that kids aren't really into reading when in actuality, um, they just aren't really liking the subject matter. So it's a great sub, uh, choice for that. I wanted to show you this. This is actually based on an Australian um, magician named Cosentino. It's kind of like his life story. It's got two different books, but he's got to solve this big um, problem at his magic show. And it actually has like magic tricks throughout. I think it's really super cute. And let's see, what else do I want to show you? Ella Diaries, love this one. This is for your third grader and up. Um, kind of has some graphic novel elements to it. Um, very, very girly, all about drama and school and stuff like that. Um, we've got some mysteries. The um, Gateway series is great for um, your kind of spooky lovers of mystery. And then if you want to go up a step, we've got the Clockwork Sparrow and we have a couple of um, uh, additional ones now as, to, as well. But um, you can see that this is a much higher reading level, but this is a really great mystery for your middle schoolers and even your high schoolers. And last but not least, wanted to show you a couple of our kind of dystopian series. We have sort of uh, Koromori. This is a series um, about a kid who winds up in Japan having to um, fight these mythical monsters. This is a young adult novel. Um, great for your ninja lovers. And we have the Mapmaker um, Chronicles. Um, this one is about a child, well, a young adult who has to go on an adventure to um, map out the world, but along the way comes up with a lot of dangerous situations. This is also a young adult novel. Um, we also have this fantasy novel series, The Impossible Quest. If you have a kiddo that likes dragons and sword fights and dinosaurs, this is all about dinosaurs and, you know, witches and stuff like that. Yeah, dinosaurs. Um, you could see that um, the reading level on this is also young adult. Hope you enjoyed that preview and that that was helpful and that your kids are going to get some awesome fiction books. Bye.